stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees, burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, beautiful stream on Monday. It's Monday again, right? Time is uh, time is flying. It's Monday. It's like the, it's not the last week in October, but it's uh, it's getting close, right? We're getting close to to the last week. So. So let's do the Instagram story, right? First things first. Buenos dias, Jake. Molbe, magrara, ma magrara molte e coltaro. Bueno, today, today, um, what's on the agenda? Uh, today, we are going to do 30 minutes of cardio, um, and afterwards, we're going to focus on upper body and the legs. So core is getting a break today, right? Although core is always working, right? It's always like doing something, but you know, the focus is elsewhere. <sighs> Hi, enemy face, good morning. Happy Monday. Is the music too loud? I feel like it's kind of, I, I did like, I made it like, I turned the volume down for me. Just for me, where's the, uh, okay, what? Oh. You need to leave soon, okay, then go about your day. Thanks for stopping by and uh, yeah. Enjoy the stream while you can and then enjoy the rest of your day. Today I find again that the um, that the whole the setup looks very dark. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Um, let's start with a quick warm up here, right? Arms out, and we circle through those el elbows. Hi, Scott. Happy Monday. Yeah, have a nice day too, uh, and uh, see you tomorrow, hopefully, for some of the day or we'll reach you. And the other way around, circling, circling, circling. And shoulder press, up and down, and up and down here, right? 
and let's circle those arms doesn't matter which way you start we're gonna uh do go the other way in a sec about now hey. and now let's swing those arms back and back Woo. back 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 with a tap here with your foot wide stance slide your arms down the sides of your legs right shoulders stay down so we're not up here no shoulders down 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 and now extend that move with your arm and extend Woo. Few more and let's come into an even wider stance here right hands to the floor if you can shift one hip up and then the other feeling a slight stretch in your inner thighs here hand one hand face down the other one goes up fine twist Other side. Uh. Up. At 4 a.m. Wow, this is this is early, but well, the early bird catches the worm, right? That's it's the saying. So now lean forward and walk out into a down dog, right? In a down dog, we align our arms with our back. We, ex we try to get those legs straight and to get the heels to the floor, but if we don't quite get there, don't worry about it. The first thing is to straight back and aligning your arms with your back. Stay here for a moment, feeling the nice stretch in the back of your legs and your shoulders. Then one foot goes forward into a deep lunge here and we're bouncing a little. Uh, up. Spine twist and down. Switch sides, other side up. Down, back, and you walk back up. You roll up, 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 vertebra, up, vertebra. Roll those shoulders back and to the front. Shake it out, and now internal, external hip rotation. So first of all, we rotate outwards, right? If you have to hold on to something, hold on to something. So rotate out and out and out, and then the other way around. You rotate in, in and in once more, and other side. We start with an external rotation. And then we rotate in. Shake it out, right? And have a sip of whatever you're drinking. Tea, water, Aquarius, whatever it is. And then uh, we're gonna do the 30 minutes of cardio. We're probably gonna do a few, uh, quite a few up moves during the cardio since Ab is not the focus today, right? But during the cardio, we can always do some ab moves, like to work our core anyway, but like we're not gonna do core work with the power tower and stuff, but as we usually do. That's something that we're gonna do tomorrow. Ah, so nice. But yeah, let's start. Gonna put on the cardio tuck and then we start. Okay, we start in three, two, one, and as always, marching in place. Right, marching in place. This is also the move that you can always come back to in case that anything is too hard or if you feel if you just don't want to do some exercise right it's totally fine you always have to adjust the workout to your knee 
and your preferences and what you uh, what you can do. So, if you ever feel like something is too difficult or you just don't want to do it, you come back to March in place. Don't sit down, right? Don't stop moving. It's just 30 minutes of cardio, so you just uh, have to move for 30 minutes. So keep moving for 30 minutes. It doesn't have to be fast. It doesn't have to be high impact ever, but yeah, at least marching in place. Marching. Now let's come to the end of the mat here, right? And we're gonna do one of my favorites, which is inchworms. Into the plank and back up. And uh, when you're in a plank, remember it's not a weird down dog with your bum high up. Uh, you're not arching your back, you're trying to create a strong and straight line from heels to shoulders. Rock leg up, about 30 seconds to go. Go your pace. At your pace, you can always go slower or go faster. And quality over quantity, as always, right? You want to do the things right and not just do them uh, anyhow. On the next one, we're going to stay down there and we're going to shift from down dock into the plank. So we're here. And then up. Into the down dog, right? Maybe you have to adjust the positioning of your feet or of your hands. And you're in a down dog and then back into the plank. Remember that you want to align your arms with your back in a down dog. Uh, straight back, straight arms. Keep moving. And breathe in, right? Even though this exercise might not, might, might not be the most challenging one, it's always important to properly breathe because we need the oxygen and we want all muscles to have enough of that, right? Woo! Let's go. About 10 more seconds, then we get up. So our wrists are getting a bit of a rest. And let's come up here and we do these high knees. First of all, we do them slow for the first 30 seconds and then we can speed it up for the second part of that minute. If you feel like it, but if you feel like keeping it slow, then just keep it slow. As I already said in the beginning, the important thing is to keep moving at all. Five seconds and then if you want to, we speed it up too. One, and let's go a bit faster here. You could even go faster than that, or you could be jumping like that. But yeah, no need to do that right now, right? Hi, Jay, good morning. About 10 seconds to go. And then we switch sides. Four, three, two, one, at this side, and we start off slow. I mean, you can start fastly as well, right? Up to you. Oh. Oh. 10 seconds, and then we speed it up if you like. And five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Ba, ba, ba. The next move is gonna be inchworms with a push up. But we did the inchworms already. Are we gonna add a push up now? Uh, if you don't wanna do the push up, just hold the high plank. Or if you don't know how to do it, if, if you can't do a push up, you could do a push up on your knees or just do the uh, down part of the push up and get up however you can. Two. One, so, come here to the end of the mat. And walk out, right? Push up, and we walk back up. Um, as always, remember, 
Then a push-up is a moving plank. So you don't want to arch your back or have a round back or anything here. Everything is nice and strong. That straight line is going up and down. And up. About 15 seconds to go. Then we get up again. One more push up here. And now, opposite leg, opposite foot to hand. If you don't quite get there, this is a fine as well, right? The important thing is to keep moving. Let's see if you can like lift that leg higher up. It doesn't have to be straight. As you see, like mine is slightly bent, which is totally fine. Try to get it up here. Up. And up. Up. And up. After that, we're gonna do alternating side planks with a push-up in between. Again, if you don't want to do the push-up, if you can do it, just hold the high plank. Holding the high plank is the first step on nailing your push-up. So totally fine to stay there. And then we do one high side plank and another high side plank, alternating. Just one minute, it's gonna be over fast. And it's a really good exercise for your posture, by the way, with or without the push-up. And two, one. So you either just hold that high plank or you do the push-up and side plank to one side, holding the high plank or doing a push-up, high side plank other side. When you're in the side planks, remember to always have your shoulders away from your ears, right? Strong shoulders, no slouching there. And up. More than halfway through. Woo. And up. Ay, ay, ay. Woo. I love it. And you can do this super slow and it's still gonna be a very good exercise. Actually, it can be harder when you do it slow, right? One more push up. And we do slow mountain climbers. All right, so you bring your knee to the front, close to your chest, one knee and then the other. Try to have your wrists underneath your shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. And after that, we're gonna get up, so your wrists are getting a rest, some rest again, right? Push through, just 30 seconds to go, halfway. Done with that exercise. So close. 15 seconds. Down. 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 Well, it's not down. To the front. To the front. And it's five, four, three, two, one. And let's come up and we're just going to do basic squats. So squat back and up. And yeah, you don't have to go all the way down right now. The important thing is to keep those knees aligned with your toes so you don't hurt your knees. Bam is going back. Just like you're, as if you would be sitting down. And your back is hinging forward and your back is straight, right? Don't do that with a round of back. Squeeze the glutes when you're up there. We're up here, back squeeze. Don't lock the knees though. Everything nice and controlled. Whew. Down and up. Next minute, we're gonna march in place, we're gonna hydrate, and then uh, grab a towel as well because we're gonna do some ab exercises on the floor now, right? So if you have a sweaty bum like me, you might want to put a towel down there. So march in place, right? March in place, 10 minutes in. I put that down first. And then drink whatever, your tea, your water. 
20 minutes to go. And once you're done drinking, instead of marching in place, which is a good thing, you could also be uh, running in place, right? Jogging in place. Also very good uh, alternative, right? I always say that, but maybe you're new, so you don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's come to the mat. I'm gonna put those weights away because I don't want to kick them. And down onto the mat. We're gonna do single leg jackknife. So we're down here and pull. Right? One leg up and then the other. If this is too hard, you could bend the knee and it's easier. But yeah, try to do it with fairly straight legs. And yeah, no need to rush here. Whew. Give more. Hi, Mastino. Buenas. And up. Thank you. Up. Oof. And up. Oof. Let's go. 15 seconds and then we're gonna do a uh, normal jackknife if you can if you feel like this is hard enough for you you keep doing that for another minute <laughs> but if you feel like you can go the extra mile you go up with both legs at a time and no need to go fast as you can see i'm going pretty close i'm going pretty slow but yeah, I'm go lifting both legs up at the same time. And don't stop breathing. Don't hold your breath. <sighs> it's important to, to breathe, especially when we're doing cardio, right? <sighs> up. Oy. And yeah. <sighs> up. Uh. 15 seconds. Ooh, starting to sweat. Ah, well, I'm, I'm what was sweating already, but starting to sweat even more. Four, three, two, one. Next thing is a Russian twist. So you can either have your feet down here like that, and you twist through your torso, or you have your feet up here like in a half bow, or you have your legs straight. Choose your, uh, choose the version you want to go with that suits you the best, right? Always adjust the workout to your knees. And let's go, 40 seconds. Oh my, so sweaty. Woo! And switch, switch, switch. Giving those abs a quick burn before we forget about them for today. I mean, like I said, you're always gonna somehow engage them, but 15 seconds. Push through. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, fuck. I'm, too, I'm counting too fast. 3, 2, 1. Next thing is normal leg lift. You could either put your hands underneath your bum to create this little hole for your lower back. Um, so your lower back stays on the floor at all times. If you are able to leave that lower back on the floor without having your hands underneath your bum, you can do that. And if this is too hard with uh, straight legs, you can do it like this with bent legs and it's gonna be easier, right? And up. Up. 30 seconds. One more up move after that. And then uh, we're done with ups for today, I think. I'd say. Thirteen, twelve, ten. No, oh, well, eleven and not. Oh, my abs are on fire already. Love it. Ah, three, two, one. Okay, next move. With it for your abs. Legs up here and reach, reach, reach. You reach for your toes. If you quite don't quite get there, I don't. Just don't worry about it. The important thing is the reaching. 
and the contraction here all the lower abs and the upper abs <sighs> and feeling that burn i do feel it if you don't try to go higher oh yeah doesn't look like much but if you do that with me you feel it Oof. Oof. up up 20 seconds after that we're going to do something for our backs so we just flip it around onto our stomachs seven six four three okay let's flip it around onto our bellies here and then lift both of your legs off the mat and pulse them up doesn't have to be high right and make that mind body connection to lift with your lower back and your glutes and as i said they don't have to be high up as long as you feel that because if you don't have a lot of lower back flexibility uh, then it's normal that you don't get them up quite that high but you don't have to the important thing is to keep them up in the air somewhere and pulse them Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Yo, 20 seconds. Then we do the upper part of the back. And then uh, we'll get up again. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Five seconds to go. And down with the legs. Hands to the sides here. And lift the upper portion of the back. Up. Up. Chest on the mat. Up. Up. Go at your pace, right? No need to go fast. You can do this super slow and controlled. This is good for posture. This is good for the ones who have back pain, lumbar pain. Strengthening all those little muscles there in our back with our own body weight. Up. Up. Keep breathing. 20 seconds to go. And then we get up. up. Five. And up. We don't need the towel no more. Now we're gonna do reverse lunges. So we're standing here, step back, down, and up. And important, I want you to uh, tuck the back heel, right? Don't do it like this, no, like this, right? And then uh, when you go down, you have more or less of a straight angle in both of your knees. But yeah, the important thing is to have that back heel tucked in order to train the right, uh, the right muscles. Two more. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Let's come into down dog. Into a three-leg dog, actually. We lift one leg off as high as we can, and then we pulse this there, but not to, not, the, the leg's not turned out, right? As high as we can, without twisting our hips. And we're pulsing. So we're engaging those glutes there, while we're also stretching the leg that's on the floor. Pulse. Halfway through. And the other side. Let's go. Up, up, up. And if you're down here, this is fine too, right? No need uh, to have your legs super high up. Mine is not super high up anyway. Just make sure that it's not turned out. Shoulders away from ears. Palms pressed into the mat. Other leg, let's go. And we are 20 minutes into the cardio, so just 10 more minutes. Pulse. 
hips pulsing here. After that minute, we're gonna march in place and hydrate. And then we push through to the end. Of course, you can always hydrate in between if you're thirsty, right? It's important to drink when you want to drink. So I'm not holding you back there, but like the next minute is gonna be like a community hydrating moment. But we all drink together if you want. Pulse. Up, up, up. Ten seconds. Oh. And march in place. March in place and hydrate. If you want to again, you could uh, jump in place or jog in place or whatever once you're done hydrating. <sighs> but as always, you don't have to go high impact. And we are almost 22 minutes in, so it's eight minutes to go with our cardio session. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. You jump in. Moving back here. Next move, if you want to do it low impact, do it low impact. If you feel like going high impact, go high impact with me. We're going to do jumping jacks. So the low impact version is this one. The high impact version, this one. Right? Keep moving. Keep moving on. Going to do quite a few high impact moves now. But it's not going to be super hard, right? Because I always give low impact alternatives. And yeah, this one is high impact all the way through. But we're going to be doing some moves where it's not high impact all the way through. So you get some breaks during the exercise. About 10 seconds to go. Okay, now the low impact version of that next move is hands down, step back, step back, step in, step in, and up. Hi, Nay, welcome. High impact version would be jumping back, jumping to the front, right? And then we have this really nice break in between where we just get up and get down again. Jumping back. Back. And to the front. Bop and bop. So good, huh? You can get a little bit of high impact at the end. Really. Gives us this really nice sweat. Okay, now we add on. You either tap out, tap out, or you do a plank jack and in. All right? Up to you if you do, if you just step or if you jump. Don't forget to breathe. Important to get that oxygen to your cells, to your muscles, because they're working hard for you. Ah. Oh. 13 seconds. Next thing is not high impact, right? What we do, we get into a reverse plank here, right, a reverse plank, and then leg in, and the other leg in. 
This is really good for a bag. In. Thank you, Naeem. In. Shoulders away from my ears. I know this is hard. I don't do this very often, so you see I'm suffering with that. In. In. Oh. Woo. 15 seconds to go. In. And in. In. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And we get up here and we do pop squats. You either step out, step out, and tap, or woo, and down. And down. You can jump, you can stop, adjust the workout to your needs. 26 minutes in with this exercise, four to go. So close to the end. 30 seconds with that exercise. And then we're gonna either twist march or twist jump. Down, up, up. Woo! 15 seconds. Down, and reach down. If you don't quite get to the floor, it doesn't matter. The important thing is like to reach for it. Reach for it. Reach for it. And now, you either twist march or you twist jump with me if you feel like going high impact. Let's go. Last three minutes. So close to the end of the cardio session. Keep moving. And we've been very busy beavers. We've done abs, we've done arms, posture, back, everything. And now a little bit of cardio, but it's kind of, all this kind of, now a little bit of high impact cardio if you want to, just if you want to. Two more exercises after this one. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. And keep moving. Woohoo! And we come back here and now we jump from one side to the other right if you don't want to jump you do a step tap Woo! 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 Ciao, Camilo. and it's like skiing right we're skiing here Woo! changing direction as we go not that i can ski but <laughs> yeah yeah after that, the last minute. Twenty seconds to go. Woo! Move. Move. Woo! Ten seconds. And the last exercise. Woo! -hoo! Four, three, two, one. Last exercise. If you go low impact, you just do squats, right? If you go high impact, squat, jump. In the last 10 seconds, we're gonna make this a fluent squat jump to really give those legs a little burn. But right now, like this, it's enough. For me at least, you can go harder, right? Don't, I'm not holding you back. Up. Up. Close to the end. Okay, now let's make this a whole like jump up and down fluently. This burns, I know, but it's over soon. Three, two, one. Woo! March in place. We made it through the cardio. Yes, high five, bam. 
<laughs> Away with the timer. Okay, there we go. March in place. March in place. Thanks, Naeem. March in place. Drink something. Oh. <laughs> so, if you feel like this is the inevitable workout for you, it's a good start into the Monday, into the week, so you can lean back and just relax if you want to. Um, if you feel like keeping up the good work, stay with me. Uh, we're gonna do upper body and lower body now. First of all, though, we're gonna stretch a little bit and then I'm going to the bathroom. And then, yeah, we're gonna do the hard stuff. So let's start with some easy stretches. So come into a wide stance here and hinge forward. Put the straight back. And then bend one leg slightly and the other one, right? Stretching those legs a little here. After the cardio. Stay on one side. Really stick the bum out. Other side, really stick the bum out. Down, if you can. Uh, maybe you can bring your feet further apart and then you could Put your head on the mat and hold on to the ankles like that to intensify the stretch. If you don't quite get that, don't worry about it. Just be wherever you are and be satisfied with that. Up, shuffle those legs in, roll up, grab your foot. Our knees are, we stretch our quad here. The knees are not apart, right? The knees close to one another. Other side. Ah, wait. You can hold every stretch as long as you like, by the way. Just uh, yeah. do it later on or just do it now. Or do it while I'm in the bathroom. In the train your hands behind your back and pull those arms up, proud chest. Hinge forward if that uh, feels good for you. Oh. Move from side to side. Down. Roll up, swing those arms back. Oh yeah, so good. Okay, and now quick break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to put on an ad break for you guys because you won't miss anything because I won't be here. So see you in a second. Maybe go to the bathroom too. Or Come back. Okay, now. Uh, it's really hard to read what you're writing, Naeem, because you're always writing everything together. And <laughs> don't even spell it correctly. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to read that, to decipher that. I'm trying. 
So, uh, now, like I said, we are going to do uh, upper body and leg. We start with upper body, of course, right? Of course. <laughs> so, we're gonna start with pull-ups. Uh, when we do pull-ups, the important thing, the important thing is to have uh, you to start all the way down and go all the way up, shin over bar and down again. I don't care if you use this grip or the neutral grip, the shin up grip, a white grip, whatever grip uh, you can use with your pull up bar. If you don't have a pull up bar, you could be doing down dog push ups, right? These here. Or handstand push ups against the wall. Yeah, but I mean, he's writing in English, but he's. Uh, but uh, he is writing in English, but it's hard to, to read it because the words are just all together without uh, anything. <laughs> or you could be doing the handstand. Right? We might be doing these in the end more. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm trying to go for eight reps. I'm not, I don't know if I will be able to do that today. But we'll see. Oh, we'll see. We we'll try our best, right? Do as many reps as you can. There we are, and yeah, I'm gonna take off this wristband. This is uh, more, it's annoying me. And yeah, let's see if I make the eight or I hope at least seven. But yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I ate a lot yesterday. I'm very heavy today, so I have to pull up some extra weight. <laughs> But we try our best, and if we fail, we fail. Seven. Oh, okay, didn't make it up there. Ah, oh, very sad, very sad. Well, seven and a half only. Very bad, but well, this happens. Yeah. We're gonna do another set of six or seven or eight maybe no but I don't think I didn't make eight on the first try so I won't make the eight on the second try but uh, yeah anyway we can work those arms they really good what a badass good I want to change the music if this is the music I was using for cardio, and then uh, the other. Oh. Okay, guys. So close, just do another set. As many as we can. Ah. I'm gonna charge my phone, by the way. 
A little more proc a little more procrastination. Pro procrastinating here. Okay. Okay, let's do as many as we can again. Uh, I hope I'll be doing seven, but probably just six. In worst case scenario, just five. One, two, three, four. Woo! Five. Four. Oh. Woo! Today is not my day, I think. Ha! Ah, very hard. It doesn't matter. We're going to do one set of three. Uh, just three. Going to be easy. Or if you don't know, how, if you cannot do three, do less. Uh, if you want to do more, do more. And then we're going to do two sets of the white group ones. As many reps as we can. In my case, that's two to three each set. I don't know how many you can do, but yeah, first of all, a set of those three reps. One. Two. Three. Oh. Well, today is very hard, but it's good if it's hard because that means we're improving, right? Even though some days we do less reps than the day before, maybe that's because we're like waiting, maybe we're waiting where we, we have like put on some weight and we pull up so the energy changes a lot. Um, or we just like. Not that strong one day, but as long as we push ourselves a little and we feel that we're like actually working hard and that we're really fighting to do that last rep, as long as we do, do that, we're gonna get better, right? We're gonna get better. <sighs> so now the white grip ones, if you have a, that is, if you have a, the possibility to do white grip. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go for two to three reps, maybe just one rep. I'm sometimes really... Hi, Naya! Good morning! How are you doing? And yeah, let's see. Let's see if I do two, three, if I just do one. Two sets in total. White grip here. And... One. Two. Woo. Hi, Gasmas. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Well, today, really, I'm suffering with those. I'm suffering a lot. But, well, it's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow's going to be better. It's going to be better. All right? So, we shouldn't, like, beat ourselves up. Uh, over one day where we like not do our maximum reps so we really don't get this just like that like one day we're like this the other day we're like that it's just like we kind of improve every day uh. so another set try that again I guess it's gonna be two reps for me. I don't know how many you do. If you do more, do more. These white group ones, they're killing me. Killing me even more than the other ones. One. Two. 
So, oh, okay, the second one was really bad. Doesn't matter, we're done with the pull-ups. Tomorrow more of that. And now, uh, now before, before we uh, move on to dips, right? Before we move on to dips, whew, thank you, thank you. Before we move on to dips, we're going to do a little bit of handstand push-ups. Um, I do, I'm not very good at those. Like I don't, I don't go very low, very down, very much down, very much down. I don't go very low, but it's a good thing to train your shoulders as well when you don't have to go all the way down. I cannot for sure, but oh yeah, it's a good posture and shoulder thing. Also, if you train your handstands and stuff. So, I'm gonna do a handstand against the wall. I mean, if you if you can do that without a wall, feel free to do it without a wall. If you don't know how to do a handstand against the wall and you're scared of that, um, you could be doing, uh, instead of that, I don't know if that scares you more, but you could also be having a chair here, right? You could use a chair and maybe then you're not that scared and you do them here, like starting with those. But yeah, I, I feel it's safer with the wall, but also I'm not afraid of, do, of doing a wall handstand. So, Matsy. So you can do shoulder shrugs, you can bend your elbows, make it your workout as always. So we're somewhere up here and then we go up and down for eight and for 10 times in total. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, as you see, I'm just like bending my elbows like very slightly. Of course, I can always bend them more, but yeah, we gotta start somewhere, right? We gotta start somewhere. Oh, Melzi, your eye is so red. My poor baby. You should rest. Woo! Let's do another shot. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, the cam turned off. Oh no! Wait a second, guys. Sorry, I think I need a cool pack. I forgot maybe to change the cam to. Uh, I forgot to change the cam to uh, from, from 4K. I guess we're still on 4K. Is it on 4K? Yeah, sorry. Ah, too bad. I'm so sorry, guys. When it's on 4K, it's always overheating. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I mean, I'm here, but the cam is right back, too. I just want to see if it's on. Still on 4K. I want to change that. Let me change that. Okay. Now it's on HD. Okay. 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 Can we leave the camera? 
Look, I forgot to put it like when I shoot videos, I have it on 4K. And when I have the cam on 4K and it's plugged into the wall, it overheats. So now it's uh, now it's not on 4K anymore. Now it's on uh, now it's on HD. I'm streaming in HD anyway. So, well, next thing, Suki, you have water here. You do have water. You need fresh water. Wait a second. The cat needs fresh water. Yeah. Ew. There you go. Okay. Now that Nauti has water and the cam has a, it has a cool pack on its hat now. Can I show you how that looks? Wait. Look there. It has like like someone who has like a headache. It has a it has a towel with a pool pack in it now on its hat. <laughs> Happy Monday. So, um, you gotta do dips, right? If you have a dip station, you could be doing your dips up here, right? You would come up here, shoulders down, and then bend your elbows, and up again, right? This is one dip. You could also do the negative if you don't know how to do, if you cannot do a whole dip. Then you do the negative, slowly down to the floor, and then you step up again and yeah. If you don't have a power tower, you could be doing that on the floor, right? Hands here, dipping, shoulders away from ears, by the way, and elbows don't flare out, they go back, or, uh, or you can do that on a kitchen counter or a chair, right, like that. And then up and down here. You get something? Ah. ah, you're speaking in riddles, guy. So, um, so guys, so we gotta do, we gotta do the, uh, the dips, right? We're gonna do the dips. We're gonna do the dips. Um, yeah. I'm going to go for seven to ten. Let's see how many I'll be able to do. Um, and then, yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, where's my cell phone? Can you, can you ban the guy, Jay, please? Can you ban him? I think he's being nasty, and if he's not, he's speaking in riddles. Thank you. Goodbye, big hat. Um, so let's do this. Hola, Carlos. ¿Qué tal? Let's do this. Uh, um, seven, seven to ten, right? Seven to ten dips. If you're on the floor, ten to fifteen. Let's go. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. Oh. Woo. Barely get up there. Nice anyway. Woo. Ah. Ah, we don't need the towel here. Huh. Ba -ba -da. We gotta do another set. We gotta do another set. Oh. First of all, we have to Pet 
So, whew. again, we're trying to do, I mean, you can try to do as many as you can. I'm going to go for in, uh, in between seven and 10. And yeah, yeah. So, you're ready. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Oh my gosh. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. If you can, if you have a pull up bar, you could hang from that pull up bar to decompress your spine. Move a little. Ah. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Okay, let's give those the upper body a little rest. We're gonna do um, shrimp, but I'm gonna use yoga block to help myself up. Um, technically, in a shrimp squat, it's a single leg squat. You would be holding that foot and then go down, tap the floor with a knee, and up again. I'm not able to do that. Um, I'm not able to do that all the way. So. What I'm doing here, I'm using the yoga block to kind of elevate the floor. So with that, I don't have to go that low. And I'm going to be clever today and start with my bad side. Um, I'm going to go for five reps. You can hold on to something. You don't have to hold on to something. The less you hold on, the better. And the slower you go down, the better. So you grab that foot, right? Hold on to your support or not and go down. Slowly, 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 slowly until you're down on the yoga block or on the mat. And then up again slowly. Right? Five reps. One down, four to go. Oi. Ah. Hi, what? How are you? Welcome. Um, three. Closer to the block, I think. Four. Ah. Last one. Five. Or did I miscount here? I don't think so. Woo! Other side in a sec. So, <sighs> other side. If you're ready, let's go. If you're not ready, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, if you're not ready, we're going to do that now. Five reps. On that side, I'm trying not to hold on because I have a fairly better balance on that side, so. Because sometimes in these exercises, it's not just strength that we're lacking, but also like uh, that body control or the balance or something. And then, yeah. Two. <laughs> Three. 
three. Four. Uh, last but not least, least, number five. Maybe at some point we have to do more than five reps. Nothing. Not today, though. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Next thing. Next thing we're gonna do Romanian deadlifts for legs. So. I'm going to use my dumbbells. They are 8 kilograms each, so that's roughly 17.6 pounds. If you don't have dumbbells, you could do pulses instead, but I'm going to show you how to do the dumbbells first without the dumbbells. So you're standing here, legs about hip distance apart, a bit wider maybe, knees aligned with your toes. And then uh, in a Romanian deadlift, or shins stay vertical to the floor, so we're not bending. Like, you know, the shins stay to move like this, they stay like this, and we just go back here. Right, with the bum. And we're sliding down here with the weight. With this straight back, right? If we were to do it with a round back, we're gonna hurt ourselves, so be careful. All right, so I rather don't want you to go very low. So up and down. Um, if you don't have weights, what you can do, um, I would rather do it with like a bit wider stance and then you go down, you pulse for one, two, three, and you go or come up, or you pulse for five times every rep right and if you do that also with a straight back bum goes back you're gonna feel a burn right so it's not the same as if we're working as working out with weights but it's way more effective than just doing single normal reps okay so either grab your weights or don't you can use heavier weights than i am using you can use lighter weights up to you We're gonna go for 15 reps here, or more or less, depending on your fitness level. Always adjust every workout to your needs. Bet your nose if you have to, and then we're gonna hit it. Let's go. One, nice and controlled. Two, and if you're going slow, Right, it's a good thing to go slow because then those muscles have to work for a longer period of time. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten, five more, and four, three, And two, last one. Nice. And down. Whew. Guten Morgen, Jonas. Ist es noch nee, ist es nicht. Da sind wir noch weit von weg hier. So. Hola, Marc, wie geht's dann? 
Hier wird es im Januar, Februar kalt erst. Vielleicht schon im Dezember, aber eher weniger. So. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is staggered Romanian deadlifts, right? So we're gonna have, have most of the weight on one leg. So one leg is back, the other in the front. And then like this, right? And again, if you don't have weight, you could do that and pulse and up. And you keep pulsing and up. Whew. So, we start with one side and then the other. Get that, Maki. Now, let's see. She lifts, she left her, her wet paw prints everywhere. You see, she's always like drinking with her paw in the water. And on the water. So. And we go. Ten reps on each side here, by the way. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and down, and yeah, remember, that's where I would put you started with, I did have my left, I had my, I had my right in front, so next I'm going to do my left in front, Al uh, de momento no está, pero volverá a lo largo de esta semana o la semana que viene. Ya veremos. You ready for the other leg? Let's do it then. Ah. Woo. See, I see it. I see it. And let's go. Ten reps. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down with the weights. Boop. Shake it out. Bam. And we're going to give those legs some rest. And we're going to work the upper body again. Um, yeah, let's do curls with the weights. Just curls. Um, the weights are 8 kilograms. So we're going to do one side and then the other. So uh, you can go like the inside ones, you can go the hand movable curves, you can go the the right ones or the ones out. Woo! Al support on Instagram. Sí, siete, siete kilómetros, bastante, bastante, ¿no? Es, es muchísimo. Bueno, y fui duro. Había mucho calor, pero eso ya hace dos o tres semanas, ¿no? Tienes pereza. Y este, el chico es, es J. Jo. <laughs> The one and only. Nancy! <laughs> so, guys, uh, let's grab one weight. 
and do the the curls right the curls here so one two three four five let's do eight it's really hard six Woo! seven oh hey ah. Malty wants to leave you can go Malty goodbye see you soon Okay, now this side, eight reps, go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Ah. Down for a second. The next set we're gonna do like the the the, the diagonal ones. Here. Next, I'm gonna do a hammer curl, and then let's see what next. Whew. It's harder. It's harder than it looks. Well, with the weights for me, depends. Like maybe for you, it's easy with eight kilogram weights. Maybe it's hard. Maybe you're using fifteen kilograms. I don't know. We're all different, right? We always have to adjust the workouts. To or need so grab that weight and let's go uh, one two three four five wow it's really getting hard six Woo! seven eight Oh, it was uh, that was it already. Okay, nice. Down for a moment. Ah, que me correr si el trabajo no te deja ah, que mal si es un es un es una es una putada si no podemos entrenar por causa del trabajo. Okay, other side. Let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. So the next thing I want to do um, is both weights. I will have both weights and we curl and shoulder press and down, right? Okay, we're gonna try to go for 10 reps. If you don't have weights, uh, you could be using, of course, um, water bottles. All the water bottles are not that heavy, so it's gonna be pretty easy probably. Um, or just like do push ups, right? In case if you don't have weights and you wanna train your arms, you could always be doing push ups. And there's various ways to do push ups. Um, for example, like right now, I would recommend you to do the normal ones, like the ones where your arms are like this, like 45 degree angle from your body, like that. Um, if you want to train the triceps more, you could have them closer together. If you want them to be a bit harder, instead of having them underneath your shoulders, you could be having them back. So then there will be a bigger load on your arms, right? You can keep playing around with those push ups and uh, do a lot of training with those. And the good thing about when you use your push-ups, you really engage your core as well, so it's always nice to do that. But anyway, if you have weights, let's do 10 reps of the curl to uh, overhead press. Overhead shoulder press. There we go. On. One. Two, three, four, 
four. Five, halfway through. Six. Seven. Oh, it's getting harder. Eight. And nine. Ah, one more. Last one. Ten. Ah, down with the weight. And let's move the cam down. I'm going to put on my app break while I do that. I bet you're not going to miss anything because you won't see me. So, uh, yeah, let's move it to the mat. Almost there. Almost there, guys. So, what I want to do now, uh, what I want to do now is something that you don't need weights or any equipment for, right? I want to do Hindu push ups. Let's try to do three. In a Hindu push up, we start in a down dog. Then we come onto our elbows, uh, onto our forearms, or not, but it's easier if you come onto your forearms. And you come up into a like upward looking dog, I think it is, and then back into the down dog. I'm gonna show you, and then you can join in. So, you are in that down dog position here. Maybe you have to adjust that, that it works for you, right? And then what you do is you come onto your forearms here, to the front, upward looking dog, back down onto your elbow, and up. We're gonna do two more. Once more. They are really hard. Yeah. Woo! Shake it out. The next thing I want to do, uh, the next thing I want to do is tax a little. Um, we could be, you could be doing like uh, dumbbell chest presses. We might be doing those later on. But for the moment, I just want to do a wide grip push-up with you, 10 reps. And instead of having your arms here in a push-up, right, we would have them out here. And then it's a wide grip push-up. And as we do this one, we're engaging those pecs more. And yeah, let's do that, right, to train those chest muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10. One more push-up version. We haven't done that in a while. After that, we're going to do legs again. But uh, if you have yoga blocks, try to have your arms on the yoga blocks when doing the push-up because then you have more range of motion to go down. You certainly don't have to do that. You can just do normal, regular push-ups. But if you feel like it, grab your yoga blocks and do these push-ups where you have to go lower down right well you can low can go you don't even have to but you can one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Woo! Yoga blocks. Away. We grab my cell phone. Now, from this moment, rolling up, I so, uh, you and I were lost our way. Right. So, now, um, we will do some leg work down here, right? Um, and what we're doing, if you have a, if you have a booty band, you can put that band around your legs here, right? And we will be doing glute bridges with a band. And we might even add the, add something to put our legs up on, so it's going to be harder. Um, and yeah, let's start. So. Your hips about your legs are or feet about hip distance apart. Your hands can be at your sides or here, on top, over your head, wherever, right? And then the first thing would be you want to have always tension on the band. If you don't use the band, you can do it without it well. And then you go up and down here, right? So up and down. Up and down. Engaging those glutes. And you're up there. Ah. If you don't have a band, you could also be using weights, for example. Put your weights here, then it's going to be harder too. But with a band, we're going to add a pull out. So up, out, in, right? Up, out, and in. And I know this might not be the hardest thing right now, but it doesn't have to be the hardest thing, right? We've been working out a lot, and we will feel a burn sooner or later. Up, out, up, out. Now let's stay up there and pulse it out here. You can have your hands here over your head as well, pulsing out, 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 out. So now the tension on the band is bigger and you should be I do I am feeling a burn here in my side booty especially let's stay here for 10 counts 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and now up for 10 times 9 8 while you're still out there right 7 6 5 4 Three, two, one, and down. Whew. And up. Hi, Brandon. Welcome. Yes, this is really hard. It's harder than it looks. 
It looks easy, but then when you do a few reps, you notice that it's like really getting into those glutes. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> you know, people, this is a YouTube chat. And, and you have to behave. You have to behave. Thank you, Jay. So, now the next thing we do you could, if you have the yoga blocks, you could use the yoga blocks again to put your feet up on them. So you're a little bit higher up here, right? So you're a little bit higher up. The yoga blocks are fine. Um, or you could use books, or you could be using what I'm gonna grab now. Um, right? Bam. You could also be using a stepper, whatever there is, to put your feet on, up, up, uh, up on, so it's higher. Right? Let's do this. So. Let's go. Up and down. Again, as before, uh, we try to have always tension on the band. And yeah, we don't want to put the weight down. If you tap the floor with your bum slightly, it's okay. But we don't want to, uh, we don't want to like put the weight down here. Up and down. Up and down, right? Up. And the band, by having always slight tension on the band, we're actually working the outer booty, the outer thigh is more really good thing. Now let's go up here, out and down, up, out and down, right? We add some extra burn here at the top. Out. Now let's add anything or something else. Out, up, down, in and all the way down, right? So we go out and the high hard part we go out and we go higher even in and down. Out, up, in, down. Now out, up there, out, pulsing. Just pulsing out here, right? Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Woo! Keep pulsing out, and now you're out there, right? Still out with the out, open with those legs, and you're pulsing up. And I am feeling a burn here. Really nice. Up, up. Up. Let's stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Uh, let's get rid of the band. Uh, oh. Uh, so. Um, I'm thinking if you're doing arms right now, or if we're going to do legs right away. Um, but actually, I could do a little bit more of of legs, I'd say. Hola, Ritros, que tal? Buenas. Yo soy muy bien. Okay, so let's do more legs. Let's do more legs first. Um, put that aside. You use it later on and grab the band again. We gotta do three minutes on each side now. Seven shells, right? With a band. So sorry for telling you to throw it aside if you need it again. I'm gonna put on the timer, right? 
And yeah, the first minute we're not gonna do anything, but after that, we're gonna hit it off. So. <sighs> so we start in a side position here, like that, and then we're gonna be doing clamshells, but yeah, first of all, just stay easy peasy here. I'm gonna cue you in, tell you what to do. Uh, but we still have 40 seconds of just breaking, enough doing nothing. Y tú qué tal? ¿Cómo va el lunes? Yo la verdad que bien. Bien. Ya hemos hecho bastante. Estamos, bueno, no super cerca, pero más cerquito al, al, a los estiramientos. Así que bien, bien. 20 seconds to go here. And then to go. 20 seconds to rest. And then we work it. Ah, legs here have a oh, 45 degree angle. Four, three, two, one. And we do clamshells. When we do these clamshells, um, the bottom leg is firmly anchored into the mat. You could, instead of having a band, do it without uh, any extra equipment. Or you could put a weight up here, just holding it to add some extra resistance. Your heels are glued together, and then you roll that upper leg up here, but you're not rolling back, right? Your hips stay square, one uh, stacked on the other. And it's just a teeny tiny movement, and try to always have tension on the band in case that you're using a band. Open. Open. And you should be feeling that here, in your side booty especially. And if you're not feeling that yet, uh, you're going to feel it soon. You will. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now bring the legs further in. 90 degree angle from torso to legs, 90 degree angle at the knees. And then your shins staying parallel now and you're lifting the upper leg up and down. Um, and still, you're not turning out. The bottom leg is still firmly planted into the mat and it's still a tiny move. Not a big range of motion, but it's intense. You can close your eyes if you like. You could even like come down here, right? Forever. Up. Up. 23 seconds to go. 19. And 10, 9, one more minute after that. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Extend that leg and pulse. And if it's too hard, you can be doing that back here, but the more they have it to the front, the harder it is. And again, no turning back, no turning out of the hips. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Oh, it's so hard, it's killing me. It burns and we still have 30, 40 seconds to go and then everything on the other side. I do feel a really big burn here. My bum region, we're at one end. Ah, oh, guys. 25 seconds. Ah. Woo. 15 seconds. Push through. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Give your bum a nice pat here. Ah! Oh! Woo! Ah, yeah, yeah. That was hard. That was really hard. Switching sides, one minute of rest, well, 40 seconds now it is, and then the other side. And then it's upper body again, before we do a bit more for the lower body. Let's come down here into the position where we have a 45 degree angle at our knees. <sighs> Uh, 
and let's go. We start with a basic clamshell here. Same thing that on the other side. Our heels are glued together. It's a small range of motion coming from the hip socket. If you use a band, there's always tension on the band. If you have a weight, you can hold it here with your hand in place. And bottom leg is firmly planted into the mat. And if the bottom leg is still on fire here, that's totally normal. I do feel my bottom leg a lot because it was a working leg before. And as a bottom leg, it's still working, right? It's still like uh, supporting everything, stabilizing. No rolling back here, hip bones stacked on top of each other. This is so bad. This side is so much worse now than the first side. And if you don't do that with me, you don't realize how hard that is. You see that and you think like, oh, this is a teeny tiny move. She's not doing a lot. It's easy, but no, it's not. It's really, it's burning. Okay, to the front here, 90 degree angle from knee, legs to torso and 90 degree angle at your knees. Shins are parallel and teeny tiny move up and down here. Pinky hair. Pinky hairs everywhere. Ah. 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 I 15 seconds and that is getting worse, right? It's getting worse because then we have to extend that leg. Oh gosh, I want to do that. We don't, but well, we will. Just one minute, it's just one minute. You can do it, Ivy. Yes, you can. And up here. Oh, and again, if it's too hard, you'll be doing that back here, but try to keep that leg in the front here, even though it's killing you. Oh, but it's so bad. Oh, I need some distraction. Distract me, please, someone. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Hi, Walter. Welcome. Good day. Oh, wow. It's so bad. It's burning. It's putting a hole in my bum. No, it's not. But, oh, the other side. I really feel that. And we have 25 seconds to go. So close to the end. Wow, and I do feel the bum, the burn of the other bum cheek as well, still. 15 seconds! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! Ah, yeah, yeah. Now away with the band. Now for, now for real. Now get lost, band. <laughs> and let me. Let me turn, uh, let me turn off the timer. And let's stretch our backside a little for a moment before we keep on working out. So come to the end of the mat. Hinge forward and let's walk out into a down dog here. Right, and then try to align your arms with your back and try to bring the heels to the mat. Maybe paddle it out, right? One here and then the other one. Stretching the back side of your legs here. They deserve it. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Down. Down. Cross your legs one in front of the other. Like that. And then lean forward. As far forward as you have to go. To feel a nice stretch in the bum, in the bum and the outer thigh of the leg with uh, in front. Oh. And the other way around. Oh. Oh. Okay, and away. So the next thing we're going to do um, is uh, chest press. This, 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 this. 
if you don't have a bench or if you don't first of all if you don't have weights what you're going to do is what we did before you're going to do the wide grip push-ups right so not the ones where your arms are close to your body but the ones where your arms are kind of out like that i'll show you you can either do them on your knees but if you do them on your knees i um, also want you to have like the plank here right a straight line or you do them up on your toes and like that and then you're going to train those packs more than with a regular push-up if you do have weights i'm going to grab mine soon and you could do that on the mat or up on a on a bench or a stepper if you're on a mat you don't have such a big range of motion you can still do that so if you do this on the mat i don't want you to have your arms out here i want them to be in here like in a 45 degree angle here to your body and then you have kind of this rotating motion up and down and try to keep those forearms as vertical as you can to get the most out of it without having to use super heavy weight right because that's gonna make it harder and uh, the best thing would be of course if you had a bench or something else you could be up uh, they could be on because then uh because then you have a bigger range of motion but up to you right up to you everything is can work out here so so my weights are still eight kilogram each roughly 17.6 pounds and yeah doing that up here on that uh stepper or on a bench or wherever is uh yeah they have a bigger range of motion which is nice for the work you want to do so gotta do 10 reps grab those weights and then you start up here and let's let's go rotating rotating down here and then you can go lower down as you can see with the bench here right one So when you try to do, use your pecs here, don't like push your shoulders up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and down, down, Woo. ah, and quick break. We're going to do another set. Ba, 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 da, ba. And then I also want to do some arms. Uh, some arms. I want to do a little bit for the back. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be, we're done soon, right? We're done soon, don't worry. Okay, you ready? Nice control. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down. 
Let's drink something at one more set. And then we do other stuff. You're ready. I hope you are. Whee! Don't run away. Ah! Please wait. Ah. So, ready? Last set here. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, woohoo, and down, down, up, and let's put those weights aside. We don't need those no more. That also out of the way. And now the next thing, um, I'm going to use a chair for that. If you don't have a chair, you could be doing that on the floor. And what I want to do here is I'm going to want to train like my back a little. I'm going to use lighter weights here. I'm going to use two kilogram weights, right? And since I'm going to be using two kilogram weights, you can easily do that with water bottles, right? Because water bottles, they usually are one, one and a half liters to two liters so we'll be fine to use water bottles for this one if you don't have water bottles and you don't have a chair you could be doing that on the mat on the floor just uh just on the floor and just have your arms up here and pull them like this up right to get into your back here um if you do have a bench or a chair or something and weight or water bottles we're going to do reverse flies here. So they're here and then elbows are slightly bent and up and down, right? We're going to do these. And since you're using lighter weights here, I mean, you could do this with, with heavier weights as well, but I'm using lighter weights. So we're just going to do like, we don't do way more than 10, maybe 20. I'm not going to count. We're just going to do them, right? So I just want to get into those small muscles in our back. Yes. Yeah, so out and out okay out out try not to crane your neck to any side your neck is a prolongation of your spine here and up your elbows up and and you really squeeze those shoulder blades when you're up there or you have those arms straight out and you pull them up throughout this whole uh, exercise Uh, we're training the upper back here, the traps, also the shoulders, the back part of the shoulders mostly. Up. Keep pushing. A few more. Out. 
out. Are you feeling that already a little? I hope you are. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't look to you. I wouldn't look into the cam, but I know this is not the right choice for doing this exercise. So I'm not going to do that. Ten more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Down. I. Uh, shake it out. Maybe bring your hands together behind your back. Pull those shoulders. Uh, pull the arms up. Shoulders down. Wow. Oh, like the beginning was really easy, and in the end, I did feel quite a burn there. Nice exercise. Really nice exercise. Yeah. You can put the chair away. And you can put these away. And now, before we do more, uh, more leg work, we're going to do a glute plank for one minute. So I'm going to show you. You can either do the plank on your uh, in, in a triangle pose or a swing pose. I'm going to use the timer here, though. Um, and what you want to do is you want to lift one leg always off the mat so i'm going to show you for a moment so you're you're not up here you're not down here everything nice and engaged and up 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 right this is this is what we're doing hi terry good morning or good day thank you welcome 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 happy monday for you so let's do that just uh it's just one minute right you ready then Let's go. Down here and up. 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 Make sure not to move and not to move your bum up too high to take the work out of the plank. Because the nice thing about this is the full body exercise. So we're engaging those abs and the upper body as well. But we're focusing on the glutes here by lifting those legs up. Wow. Halfway through, 30 seconds to go. Up. 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 Keep breathing. Ah, so hard. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one down. Ah. Oh. Hi, Tucker. Good morning. How you doing? Ah. So, so hard. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, yeah, we have more, more stuff to do. Uh, what was that about to, wait a second, I was thinking, ah, uh, no, 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 side. Well, ah, yeah. You're gonna, perfect, perfect. Nice, nice to hear that. Uh, we're gonna do an exercise, it's, uh, I haven't done that in a long time, actually. So let's see how that works out. Um, what we do, we're in a kneeling position. Uh, your legs can be a bit apart, right? And then your feet can be actually together. And you're trying to lean back here and to the front. So you're engaging those quads here. And maybe you don't, I mean, and I don't want you to sit back here, right? No, it's not this, right? We're trying to keep that upper body straight. And we're leaning back and to the front. And as you can see, I'm not leaning back very far, but I do feel my quads here already. So, maybe you have stronger quads and then you can go further down. We, 
But yeah, when I when I leave my upper body straight, it's really hard for me to go further. Oh, yeah, I don't know about you. You can go further down, of course, right? Always adjust the exercise to your needs. But for me, this is hard already, and I don't want to just stumble back. And again, it's not this. No, 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 no. It's this. So you, you're putting like this, you have like more weight that's going back there. Whew. Yeah, he's one of the new members, right? Hi, Franco, welcome. Back and to the front. Oof. Wow, I have to do this more. I really, I'm really suffering here. I was, about, I was thinking that I could go back further, but I cannot. If I go back, ah, almost killing me. And maybe bring my, bring your legs a bit closer together. <sighs> killing me. Ah, two more. Whew. <sighs> oh. Once more, we're going to stay there, right? We're going to go back and we stay here for five, four, three, two, one, to the front. Whew. And my quads are on fire, I tell you. Ah. Oh. Now, wait a second, I want to try. If I tap back on one side and then tap back on the other side. Whew. Spain is a really nice country. Tap back on one side and on the other. Few more here, okay? It worked those quads just a little longer. And five. Four, three, two, last one. Well, actually, we have to do the other side too. So, up, ah, ah, and now let's come into child's pose. Oh, yeah. ah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So, guys, we're close to the end, close to the stretching already, but we're gonna do one more exercise for the um, upper body, right, for the upper body, and then uh, legs again, and then stretch. No, what? No, we're just close to the stretching. We still have about one hour and 40 minutes of the stream. But like, I mean, like the working out part, we're going to be stretching in a second. Or in, uh, no, I'm not. I'm leaving just like the normal time when I'm always leaving in one hour and 40 minutes. But we're going to work out for about 10 to 15 more minutes, maybe 20. And then we're going to stretch because we've been working out already for, I don't know, two hours more. So what we do now again, we do the, if you have the yoga blocks, use the yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you don't, uh, you can just do it on the floor. I'm going to do the elevated push-ups again. I'm not going to count out loud this time. I'm going for 10. So if you do the, use the yoga blocks, you can go lower down and up. So. I hope you're ready. And then, oh, maybe you have to put these with apart. So you don't get uh, stuck. <sighs> Three. Four, okay, in the end I'm counting. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
nine, and last one, 10. Step. Next. Next is a side-lying leg lift with ankle weights. So get your, if you, you have ankle weights, get them out. If you don't have ankle weights, it's still gonna be challenging without. So my ankle weights are one kilogram each, roughly 2.2 .2 pounds each. So that's roughly uh, 4.4 pounds on each leg or two kilograms on each leg. But yeah, you can do it without ankle weights, or you can do it with more, uh, with more additional weights. Or you can put the band around the leg again, right? The band we used before. Many ways to do that. I'm gonna put on the timer there again. And it's gonna be three minutes on each side. There we go. Ooh. Let me put on the timer. First minute, we're not going to do anything. There we go. Timer is on. And yeah. Decide what side you want to start with. Have a drink because again, we have, we still have a few minutes. Uh, we still have a few seconds. And thank you, everyone, for your support, by the way, for being here, working out with me, just watching, writing, lurking, whatever. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, some things we get better and some things, some things not, but well, that's just life. So we're on our sides here. Our legs are more or less straight. The bottom leg can be slightly bent. And we start with just normal little leg lifts here. In 10 seconds, so yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Three, two, one. And lift that upper leg up, up and down. Right? You should be feeling that if you feel anything, should be feeling that in your outer thigh here. And it doesn't have to be a big high move, right? It's okay. If it's just this little range of motion. Uh, don't put the weight down, right? You keep that weight, you keep that leg up throughout the next three minutes. It's just three minutes. I know it's gonna be hard, it's gonna burn, but yeah. Up and down. Nice and controlled. This exercise is good for your leg, but it's also good for your back because strong legs and strong glutes and everything, they help our, uh, they help our backs too. Woohoo, let's go. Nice. Yeah, we're growing. We are growing indefinitely. Well, not indefinitely, but well, we are growing. And now, slightly to the back, right? So your both legs, both feet are parallel, and then you move the upper leg up, but a bit to the back. Woo! Up. There. And slightly back, slightly back. And yeah, you could be doing that perfectly with a band around your ankles or a band around your thighs as well. And if your upper, if your upper body goes to the front a little bit here to compensate, that's fine too. And I know the burn might be bad now, but the next exercise is gonna be a bit easier. So keep pushing for 20 seconds and then you get a little bit of a relief, a little bit. Back and up. Oof. Five, four, oh no, it's seven, sorry. <laughs> oh, wishful thinking, huh? Two, one. Um, leg goes in here, 90 degree angle more or less, and the other leg comes in and is pushing back. In and back. We, had, we did those quite often a while ago, but we haven't done them in a long time, so I think you have to go back to training those out of thighs again, right? Whew. 
Yeah, I mean, the goal is to get better, right? Every day a little bit. But some days we don't get better, right? We cannot get better every day. Sometimes we just stay at the same. Sometimes we get worse, but then we get better again. And yeah, as long as like the ah, uh, as long as like in a total, like in the on the long on the long track, we're getting better. Everything's fine. And out, in and out. About ten seconds to go, and then one minute of rest, and then everything on the other side. And you could be coming down here as well. In, out. Ah. Oh. Woo. Ah, oh, hot work, hot work, guys. Ah. Oh. And we're gonna get on to the other side. Yes, they're supposed to target also all the little muscles and everything. And like also the variety. I think it's important like to keep doing like, okay, we have to do the same things. Um, it's important to do the same things over and over again to get better at them. But I also find it very important always to sprinkle in some new stuff and to keep doing different stuff so it's not getting boring and so that we train our bodies and our mind as well because like if we always do the same our minds kind of like not learn anything new but with new exercises new mind body connections are built and yeah okay we're about to i gotta check the timer four three two one and we start with the same slightly up and down here again just like before when we did the uh the leg work on both legs separately uh the second side might be worse because it has been the supporting side before so you might feel both legs now up and up da -da -da -ba 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 -ba. up and up Keep breathing. And this is the last exercise, uh, the last strength exercise. After we're going to get into stretching mode, but you know stretching can be hard too, right? Active stretching can be a bitch. How long? Three, two, one. Okay, now we have the slightly back. So feet are parallel and then the other leg goes up in a diagonal to the back. And it doesn't have to be much. Woo. Okay, you're welcome and thank you. Thank you for your support, right? Thank you. Thank you for being here. I like to like it. Ah, going so bad. Woo. Back. Back. Yes. Oh. Mm. How much longer 17 seconds and then we get to do the easy exercise oh my it's so it's pretty so bad ah! <laughs> sorry up four three two one in and ah Woo! last exercise one minute we can do that Ah, yeah, fight the pain. Enjoy the pain. Enjoy the burn. If it burns, you know changes are happening. You know you're doing good work. So push through. Twenty three seconds. Yes, the burn is real, and the burn is making the changes happen <sighs> lactic acid in our muscles burning away <sighs> oh. yes we made it oh so nice <gasps> okay let's change those uh timers timer way i'm 
and we're gonna put on some chilly music. There we go. Woohoo! We made it! So, let's get rid of those ankle weights. One away, two away, thank you, three away, and number four, all right, um, stop. Let's start with some easier stretches, right? So we come on to our backs here, ah, arms to our sides. Like that, and then three really let them drop to one side. Ah, both shoulder blades stay on the ground. A little spine twist here, and we should be feeling a little stretch in our outer thighs. It's part of the outer thigh of the leg that on top. Oh, <gasps> okay. I opened the window, so it's still closed. I forgot to open it. I need some fresh air. Other side. Up, 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 bottom. Oh, so nice. Okay. Let's. Let's open the window. And then, since we're standing here, we're gonna start, we're gonna keep standing or we're gonna start from standing position. We lean forward here into a forward fold, kind of. You can cross your elbows like that and move from side to side. And then hands to the mat if you can. Walk out into a down dog. First of all, arms aligned for the back. Straight legs and then maybe get the heels to the floor, maybe not. Stay here for a moment. And then down. Oh, hi, James, and thank you so much for becoming a sponsor, for being a member. Thank you. James Honk became a member. Thank you. From here, we push back up into into the down dog and back down again right shifting from tabletop position into the down dog once more dun, 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 dun. curl it out lifting one heel of the mat and then the other one and then from here, do a plank into the cobra. Untuck your feet, shoulders down, you're looking up. Uh, into child's pose. 
Right? Easy peasy stretches, more or less easy peasy. Everyone can do those, I think, more or less, right? Maybe not a perfect form, but you can do those. Up again, shoulder stretch. So we reach through with our arm here. Ah, oh, nice back twist and a shoulder stretch. I love shoulder stretches. My shoulders are always so tight. Other side. And up again. Let's stretch the tops of our feet. So we're in a tabletop position here again. We don't tuck our feet now, we keep them like that. And then we press up on the tops of our feet. And maybe you just want to get up that high. This is okay, you don't have to go higher. But if you can, try to get come up higher. And maybe you can even walk in a little bit to make that even uh, more intense. Uh, uh, uh. And let's come into a deep squat here on our feet. Feet set on the floor. Maybe you have to have your hands behind you or in front of you to be able to be on those feet. If not, have your arms in the middle here, moving in front. <laughs> moving your hips on side to side a little here. Pressing out. Stay here. Now the next thing would be something for um, hip mobility. So you could have your hands behind your back here and then down and down, right? Um, if you are able to do that without having your hands on the floor, try to do that. But try to always be on a flat foot here, right? Not on your tippy toe. In. And in. And back here. Press out again. Up, shuffle your feet out, hands to the mat, and move, and draw like little aids with your hips, so like the shifting one hip up, and then the other, right? And if you're more advanced, you might be able to bring your head on the mat. Okay. Hi, come down again. All right, this was just playing around. This was just playing around. Let's stretch our quads. Something else almost everyone should be able to do. So, you're sitting here, right? Like that with your feet or your legs in front. You bend, you bend one leg, right? You don't lift it off the mat. You can have some space in between your legs, but don't lift it off. And then you come down onto your elbows if you can, feeling a nice stretch in the quad. If the stretch is not intense enough, you can come all the way down. I always find that very, kind of, I don't know, like it's kind of relaxing, but it's something in between relaxing and hard. And up, and let's do the other side. Same thing, you want to have that leg on the mat at all times, but then uh, you go back onto your elbows, and if this is not hard enough, you go all the way back here.
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh. Up again. Butterfly pose. So you bring those legs or those feet, those, those soles together. Grab those feet. Shoulders down. Proud chest. Right, and feeling a nice touch in your shoulders and your in your arms, maybe even a little moving those legs down. If your legs are up here, this is totally normal. Bit by bit, they're gonna uh, yeah, you're gonna be able to open them further if you do that. If you do these stretches on a regular basis. Move from side to side. Hola, Sola! How are you doing? Welcome! Now, you stay in here with one leg. And the other leg, if you can, grab the heel. Grab the heel and you lean over. And you try to straighten that leg. Let's see how far you get. Like, maybe you just get that high, which is fine, right? But maybe if you're more flexible, you can get the leg up here. Like that. And we try the other side. Why right, we try the other side, same thing. You're here. And you bend. Maybe you get just this high up, or maybe you can boo, get all the way up. And that stretch, if you're, if you're struggling getting your legs straight, you could sit, try to use a band, right? So you're sitting in that position here, then you would be, you would put, you would put uh, the band around your foot, right? And then you could have it up here and can try to move it up straight and try to get it closer in here. Right, on the other side, it looks almost the same. So like that, you don't have to be that flexible and you can still do the stretch pretty good. So you're here, leg goes further up. Maybe you need some balance, right? And then you could be here or closer in, right? But yeah, far the far away is fine too. <laughs> Always make it your workout. So. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. Right? I'll be right back. Don't run away. Don't run away. I'll be back in a minute or something like that. I'm going to put on an ad break because I won't be here. If you just saw an ad break, you will not see one. So see you in a second. So, I'm back. <laughs> I am back. Oops. 
So, today, I'm gonna use the ball again. So if you have a ball, grab your big ball. If you don't have a big ball, don't worry about it. You could be doing these exercises um, just on the floor or, um, or on a chair as well instead of a ball. Okay. Um, first of all, we're gonna just stretch our backs a little. Okay, this is something if you do it on the on the on the floor, of course it's not the same, but you could come up here on that ball and then just like lick your grab your wrist and bounce a little here. So like go off all the tension. You could be leaning over a chair here or just leaning back, just lying on the floor. Then open up those arms. Let your arms drop to the side. Moving back and forth a little. Right, massaging your back with that ball. Oof. Stay here. Down. Oh well, 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 well. Oh, I can change the music like that. Straight legs, let's stay here. And then down. Other way around. Right. Now the ball is underneath our hips on your lower back. And we come up here and we bounce a little to let go of all the tension. All right, but make sure that your lower back is on top of the ball because if it's in front of you do that, you might be uh, like hurting it, might put too much pressure on it. Be careful with that. Sit here. It's okay. Okay, hands down here, roll back and forth a little. Oh. Stay here. Ah, uh, wait. Back. Let go. Now we're going to use the ball to stretch our legs. Um, we're going to do the stretches without the ball first, so I'm showing you how to do them without the ball. Uh, and then um, we're going to use the ball, so if you don't have a ball, you know you can just do the same sequence again. And if you do have a ball, so you have an idea of what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come into a hospital here. And with a fairly straight back, we lean forward, right, to stretch the leg here. If our backs are a bit bent, that's okay. Maybe you hold onto a, to the, the leg or a, the wall here so that you can go down with a fairly straight back. Or you could have yoga blocks here, right? And bounce well, move back and forth. Right, with the ball we would be rolling further to the front. You could be like going further to the front here as well. Opening up that uh, half a little bit more. Doesn't have to be too much. Then turn the leg in, turn this leg in as well. So you turn onto the side of the foot, sticking the bum out here, right? The bum out. And then uh, at some point, try to come lower down to feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh of the straight leg. And if we have the ball, we can also move sideways a little bit with the ball. Without the ball, we cannot do that. We just hold the stretch to the other side. We're in a half split here, right? In the half split, leaning forward. Whee! Make sure not to fall. Don't worry about it. Right, maybe hold on to a wall. Okay, 
and then back and forth with the ball we could be rolling to the front then we, so we could or without the ball we can come to the front a little bit too nice intensify there without twisting your hips open too much and then we would be turning the like back leg like back here that put down in right like that you could be moving the put out and in with the ball without the ball not and then we'll be coming down here so you will feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh of the uh bed leg and up so these are the moves that you can as you can see you can perfectly do them just on the floor if you don't have a ball if you do have a ball let's grab the ball Hey, ball. So. First of all, I hope we get there one. I mean, we will get there one day. We'll just take some time. We'll just take some time. First of all, we get the 10k and then we get the 100k. When we get the 100k, we ho hopefully we get the tick and we get the button. Right? So. Leg up on the ball. And now it's getting trickier. Right? Make sure not to fall here. By holding on on both sides of the ball with your hands, actually you can like kind of hold your balance, but I know it can be hard anyway, so be careful, right? Don't push too hard. Whew. Can. And as you can see, we can roll out a little easier here than on the mat. Whew. Well, easier. Uh, so maybe it's hard as well because we're struggling on balance. Hold that. Now, one hand on the mat, the other one stays on the ball. We turn the leg in, the other one out. And first of all, we roll in and out here, right? We roll in and out. Yeah, the other stretches the hand. This one stretches the inner thighs and it opens the hip. Right, out. Out. Now you could come down here and do that here as well. Out. 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 And down carefully. And then we do the other side. So, other leg up there. And with the other side, you might struggle more or less, right? Up here. Be careful with the ball always, right? The ball is creating some instability. We have to fight that instability. And to the front. Right. a little and then do the mat here with the hand turn the leg back the other leg in and first of all we're just sliding out here a little oh Jay is also working like he's he's moderating and he's working at the same time so that's why he's not always uh 100% uh, there. And now, if you want to, close it to the mat and back. Yeah. 
in and out here. Woo. Two more. And down. Woo. Nice, 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 right? We're not done with the ball yet. We're going to drink something. Are you getting sweaty? I was very sweaty. Like right now, I'm not. Well, I'm not that sweaty right now because obviously it's not. It, it's, it's it's stretching, so we're not like doing cardio. <laughs> Thank you. So. I'm gonna keep doing nice ball stuff here for a bit more. So, now, this is something again, you could be doing that without the ball. Mm. I'm gonna show you without the ball for a moment or with your leg on a foot. So, right now, what we wanna do, we will have the leg on the ball, but instead of having the leg on the ball, you could have the leg just down there, right? Like, just like here, or on a foot, uh, on, a, on a chair, or down, doesn't matter. Right? <clears throat> but if you have the ball... Right? The other one, like, be like up here. And then, uh, let the leg up, and pulse it in. Right? Pointing the foot. And if you're more flexible, you might be able to grab that uh, pulse and you're pulling in here. And then when you have that ball here, if you, if you have the ball, if you don't have the ball, you don't have to do anything, just hold those right. But if you do have the ball, what you could be doing here, holding one leg in like that and with the other leg. Extend and bend the leg, rolling the ball in and out. Right. This is these exercises are good also for like, uh, like for the mind body connection and to like get a better like uh, motor work here, right? Two more. One more. Now stay down that there. You grab the leg here, uh, like grab the heel if you can. And then you want to bring, but this is super advanced. If you're not advanced, just stick with what we just did. But if you can get the leg out, you grab the heel and move the leg out to the side. Until it's down on the mat. And then again, you could be Extending and bending that leg here. Once more. In with that leg. Up. Now we're going to switch. So, other side. Other leg goes up here on the ball, or it's just, it's just on the floor if you don't have a ball, right? And then grab your thigh here and pull that leg in. Point the foot. Or if you can, you can even grab the... Uh, the uh, the the calf and bend and extend the leg out and Once more. Now, if you can, grab that heel and move that heel, move that leg down. But this again is advanced, so if you cannot do that, don't worry about it and just 
stick with what we just did. Uh, all the way down. And then in and out here again. Ooh, bonjour, Hernan! Double. In. Ah. In. Out. Out. Uh, back. Legs up there for a moment. Uh. Roll. Then in out for a moment. Ooh. In. Okay, uh, the next thing, the next thing we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get rid of the ball first of all, we don't need the ball no more. Uh, and then I'm gonna put the cam up on the table so you see better, you can better see what I'm doing. Well, because we gotta do more stretches to open up those hips, right? Because these were like stretches that prepare also for the um, mid pancake and the middle split, and we wanna work on that. So first of all, the ball goes in there. Oh, oh it's not. <laughs> there we go. So let me quickly change that camera angle so you can see better what we're doing. There we go. So, yeah, the green ball is great, but we're, we're done with the green ball for the moment. Um, what I want you to do now is... Uh, Gotta get Malcolm's water glass away from that. She's always making everything wet. I don't know how she's. I don't know why she's doing that. Wait a second. Spilling her precious water. So, um, now. What we do in here, uh, we start on one side. I think I start on my bad side, which is pretty good because then on my good side afterwards, I will feel like, oh, I'm so flexible. Um, what we're doing here, we're having that leg to the side and this leg goes here, like that, right? So you see from the side, it's pretty close. Everything's pretty close here, right? And I have to change the angle of the Oh, the screen here so I can reach you guys better. There we go. Um, so, like that. We're sitting here like that. About a 90 degree angle here, right? Doesn't have to be more. And first of all, hands are a bit behind. Uh, we push to the front slightly. And I'm using that towel because the floor is getting colder these days. So I'm having it here so I don't have to have my hands on the floor, cold floor all the time. So. Pointing. Foot moving to the front. Now let's try to come into the middle here, right? Into the middle. And let's try with a straight back. I hope you can see that in the mirror. And... Right? To the front. Back and forth. Back and forth. And you might feel this very much. I do feel it a lot here in my... Uh, like, at my hip. My inner thigh a little bit, my hip. So, uh... Switching this foot. 
So as you can see, I'm not gonna, I'm don't, I, I cannot go further down, right? Hi, QQ, welcome. So I cannot go further down right now, but I will be able to go further down in a sec. So what we do now is uh, we bring our hands back here and then if you can try to come all the way down onto your elbows and you will feel a pull here again, but it's kind of different than before, right? Opening up and just stay here for the moment. Breathe into the stretch. This is a very effective stretch to open up the hips and to get into the pancake. So, and then up. And now we try to come to the front again and you will feel how it's easier to come to the front, how you might even be able to get further down, which is crazy, Wait, right? Just for one time that we stretch back there, this makes a huge difference for me already. And say. Now, next step would be, if you can, instead of coming back here, just come onto your elbows. If you can, try to go all the way down. So that your chair, that your shoulders are on the mat. But if you cannot go that low, don't worry about it. Just stay on your elbows, which is fine too. Bit by bit, you're gonna get more flexible. Uh, up again. Up again, and now try to walk even further down with a straight back, right? And you might feel that, wow, this already changed a lot for me. Holding that. Once more back, once more. Either onto your elbows or if you can, all the way down. Staying here for a moment. And then up again, right, up again, and with a straight back to the front. Maybe you can come onto your elbows now again. And up. Ah, ah. that leg might feel like deli, move it a little bit, roll it in and out. And we're gonna do the other side. Make sure like not to put your back onto something like that, something hard, right? And other leg, just bend now like this, right? Bend the other leg. This one straight. And we start with our hands behind our back here, push it to the front, and now we should feel the stretch on the other side. And uh, depending on your flexibility, this side might be worse or it might be better. For me, this side is more flexible. So I feel less of a pull. So let's come to the front if you can with the straight back. And down to the front. Hi Joseph, welcome. How was your birthday? Did you do something nice? Right, because with last week I remember you saying that. So did you did you get some nice presents? I mean, like when we're grown-ups, we don't get so many presents no more, right? As a kid, it's like it's all about presents, and then when you grow up, it's just like about uh about getting older <laughs> so next thing we come back here onto our elbows on the first run and uh, we hold that if you're hungry well well then it's not well you could eat in about like 50 minutes or something i was hungry too i'm not hungry right now anymore luckily because today's my fasting is today i'm just drinking I always do that on Monday, but on, on Sundays I eat a lot for all that reason. So, kind of cancels that out. Up. So, back to the front and if you can, further down. Further down here, pulsing a little. 
And yeah, for me, I can actually even come onto the of my forums here. Ah, uh, so about 45 minutes to go, and then we're done. And... and up again. Next, you can come onto your elbows, or if you're more advanced, all the way down. And again, make sure to hit something behind you. This is also a nice spot stretch, by the way. And then up. Wait. <laughs> and with the straight back to the front. On that side, I'm so much more flexible. Straight down here. And up. Back again. All the way or on your elbows, depending on where you're at, right? Always adjust it to your knees. Up. And now down again. On that side, I can go almost all the way down, as you can see. Crazy, huh? Once more back, I think. I think it was once more. I'm not sure. If not, it doesn't matter that we went back once more on that side. It doesn't hurt. Ah. Ah. And up, and to the front. <laughs> and tuck those legs, wiggle them. Ba -bam -bam. From side to side here. How? What? So, let's straddle. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that app roller. If you do have an app roller, an app roller is a great prop to improve your pancake. If you don't have an app roller, don't worry too much about it. You can just do it without. And yeah, first of all, in our straddle, we don't have to we don't have to be at our maximum. You can be at 90 degrees here or a bit further apart, right? Point your feet straight back. You can see in the mirror, like I'm pushing to the front here with a straight back. Uh, if this is a piece of cake of you, if you can do that without a problem, then you can have your hands in front here with a straight back then pulsing up and down and if you do have the up roller and you can be comfortably in front here with a straight back you could use the up roller to go further to the front with a straight back you can see that pretty good in the mirror right you don't have to go super far super wide out just go bit by bit right and by using the up roller it's easier to keep that back straight uh it's easier than when you walk out because you can just like keep those arms straight everything engaged and yeah it this really helped me to improve my pancake and straddling so yeah it's like worth to get an up roller just for this if you're into stretching because they're not very expensive anyway A bit further out every time, maybe. Well, maybe not. Right? Make it your workout. Yeah. 
stay in your lowest point. Maybe put that apple to the side. Nice, you don't need it at the moment. Come onto your elbows if you can. Open it up here. Up, one side. Other side. And the other, right? But try to keep a straight back. If you cannot do that down there, then I mean, there's a twist in your back, but it's still straight. Like you're not, you're not rounded, right? It's not a round back. So if you cannot do that down there, you can do it higher up. A few more. Stay down in the middle. Up again. And now what we're doing is uh, moving from side to side, but like sideways. So your torso is facing the front of the room. We're not, not twisting here, right? We're going sideways and we just go a bit a bit, a teeny tiny bit. So we don't have to go very low for the moment, for the time being. You can go, you can come closer to the opposite leg gradually. You don't have to though, right? As long as you're nice touch in your side body here. Uh, fine. Try to keep both of your butt cheeks on the floor. And as always, do this in your, at your pace, right? You can go very slow, you can go faster. <laughs> exactly, this is opening up the hips and here we opening up the hips where we're also like stretching our upper body, right? It's like we're combining stuff here. Let's stay on one side now. Stay on thing a little. Oh. And then over on to the other one. Now the next thing we're twisting. So tap the knee. With the opposite arm you can exact just like before you can gradually go lower down so instead of tapping, tapping the knee tap the shin or the foot right as we keep switching sides here try to keep the back as straight as you can right so don't make a round back no this no i rather don't want you to go that low and do that with a straight back it's a twist twisting to the side but it's still straight it's still not rounded that's what i mean when i say straight tap 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 and tap let's stay on one side And yeah, over to the other side. Back to the middle. Hands behind you. And roll the bum up and the hips down. Brow chest. If you can do that in front here. As long as you don't make a round back, right? You arch your back and then your back is straight, but you never ever make a round back. You can walk a bit further out. Up. 
and now come down as close as you can to the floor up 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 bring those legs in and uh, roll them from side to side Wait. and let's give those inner thighs and the hips a little rest right we're gonna give them a little rest and we're gonna be doing the flow pose before we keep working those hips and the inner thighs Check it. <laughs> Your head, you you come onto your backs here, right? Just onto your backs. Well, let's stay here for a moment, right? Just before we get into the flow pose, stay here, right? Your feet are on the flat on the mat. You can exhale and you feel how gravity is pulling you down. I always feel that in my lower back. I don't know about you. <sighs> Just stay here for a moment and inhale. Once you're ready, you can press those hands here into the mat and bring your legs up here, right? And then you would try to bring the toes onto the mat here. If you don't quite get there, what I want you to do is like to go as close as you can. You stay there for one, two, three seconds. Then you roll back and you rest. Wait. And if you're ready again, you do that again. Hi Andre, welcome! Now, if you uh, if you can bring the legs to them, uh, the, the, the feet to the floor down there and you're down here, right? With your legs in, with your legs straight as you can harm them right now and your toes on the mat. Moving those hips from side to side slightly to intensify the stretch. If this feels good for you, if that is like not comfy, if you feel, if this is painful, don't do it. Now, bend those legs and tap the knee down on one side and then on the other. And this is also a very nice shoulder stretch for me. I don't know about you. You might feel that differently. Tap down and down. Let's stay on one side. And on the other side. And now roll back. Boy. You can't do that at all, I don't worry about it. This is very advanced. Like I said, if you don't know how to do that at all, you're just gonna be on your back, right? You're just gonna be here and you try to bring your legs up here and wherever you are, it's okay. If you're up here, and one day you get closer down. So, uh, onto our backs here. Arms over hat. Again, let's stay here for a moment. You could do a C and that's where you start and bit by bit you're gonna get better. Now extend one leg. Right, you extend one leg, you bring the other leg in. Grab that leg. Close to the chest. Well, it's not really close to the chest, but kinda like in the back leg. And then pull that leg down here and the opposite shoulder can leave the floor now, right? We have both legs on the mat, feeling a nice spine twist here. Your core. Perfect, very good. Very good. 
Uh, let's come back to the middle. Switch like. Uh, in. And over. Uh, other side. So good, huh? Nice. Back to the middle. <sighs> Back to the middle. Arms over your head. Stretch them a little. One side and then the other one. Both. <sighs> Legs in. And up. Woo! Back. Back. So, next, we're gonna do the uh, frog pose behind the frog stretch. So, how are we gonna do that? Um, first of all, I'm gonna put the upper low. Um, we're going to try, we're trying to create a straight line from knee to knee over our hips, right? Also to prepare the middle splits and the pancake. And you could be using a towel um, to be able to slide out those legs better. <laughs> Thank you. So, here we are. We start in that position, like a tabletop position, and then we try to slide out further, right? 90 degree angle at our knees. And yeah, let's go down here onto our, um, onto our chest if we can. And let gravity pull you further down, right? Don't have to do a lot here right now. Just let gravity pull you down. Bam, bam, bam. Roll the hips up. No, the hips in, the hips down and the bum up. Oh, you know, like tilt the hips, like arch your back. Kind of try to arch your back here to open up further. And now uh, I'm gonna. You can stay down there. You can come up for a moment to uh, try to release a little bit of the tension. I'm gonna use the other yoga mat so it's easier to slide out. And I'm gonna just change quickly the perspective so that you can see better what we're doing, right? So here we go. Out. And we're gonna get into that frog pose again. Okay. Out here. And but now we first of all um, now at for the beginning we're staying up here on our elbows and we move back and forth like that. So by moving back and forth we can push those legs further apart. Right? If it's just a like the quarter of an inch or something. Doesn't have to be much, but I'm noticing how I'm getting closer to the floor here. Right. Keep breathing, even though it's stretching, we need the oxygen still, right?
Now, if you can, uh, chest on the mat. And now we roll the feet up here, right? Up. And we do that um, by rolling the legs up in the hip socket, right? It's not just the feet, or it's not the feet that are moving, the leg. The total shape of the leg is not changing, we're just like rotating that leg in the hip. Up. Hi, Jonathan, welcome. Good morning. It's going good. We're going, we're stretching those hips here, right? We've done all the hard work already, so yeah. Good. Good start into the new week. Up. And up. Now let's hold it up there and in, out. Right? In and out. This is active stretching. So we're stretching here, but we're also, we're stretching and strengthening, right? A good thing. In, out. Once more. In, out. Down. Up onto your elbows. Feet in and back and forth a little. And be prepared to have jelly in our thighs once we're when we get out here. Back. Back. Hands down. Oh hands down, we're up on our hands, but you know what I mean? <laughs> hands on the mat. And stay here for a moment. Keep breathing. And then, ah, in. Woo! Ah. Ah. Roll from side to side here. Oh, this is really hard. This is really hard work. Actually, we could be doing 90-90s here. So, we have a 90 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, and a 90 degree angle here. And then, we move those legs over to the other side. Woo! Right? Ah. Also very good for hip mobility. Woo. And now further in, the legs in, and from side to side, just moving it here. Whee. We've got to straddle again, but before we straddle, let's just really give those inner thighs a last break, right? And come into cobra pose here. Wrist underneath the shoulders. Ah. And let just everything hang your shoulders away from ears so you're not here. No. Shoulders away from ears. Proud chest. Stay here. And now child's pose. Compensate. Staying in the child's pose for a moment. And up. Circle those wrists. I circle those wrists to one side. Either side. Yeah, it's just a, it's a great workout. Let's stretch our forearms so we bring those hands down here. Pushing one side and then the other side. Going to stretch the back again. So we come into tabletop position here, right? Wrists are underneath our shoulders, knees underneath the hips. 
and then we lift one leg of the mat and the opposite arm and we kind of pull up there and we hold that hi jimmy happy monday to you too welcome and down let's do the other side and as you can see it doesn't have to be super high because like my back is not very flexible so it's not very high but it doesn't matter right down first side again just to stretch a little bit right I'm not focusing a lot on back stretches apart from like the stretch, stretch that stretches that make you feel good. Um, I'm not trying to improve my back flexibility a lot because I know it's like uh, it can go the wrong way. I'm the same. So I'm focusing more on legs and stuff like that. Yeah, and hips. Let's drink something. Okay. Don't change the camera angle. Again in a sec. Mm. And you're gonna use that other mat here. away with that mat because we're gonna do we want, we want to do the middle splits and therefore this mat is actually we don't even have to change the camera angle right we can actually stay stick with that camera angle for today why not now we want to stretch all that First of all, we do something easy. For the inner knee, like what's to mean like here for that part? Like, I mean, how do you want to stretch it? Because like, like, I mean, you could stretch it like sideways or something, but that's like usually not good. It's like better to like just move the knee to the back and the, the front, but like to stretch the, the backside of the leg, I would always recommend something like a down dog or, uh, or if you're like sitting like this, this is what we're about to do now is sitting like this and then you lean on top of the legs you feel the stretch in the back part and also the side part of the knee but yeah i don't exactly know how you mean that with the inner knee because i mean you could be stretching the leg by twisting it but that's no good for the knee so so this is always good uh or for example there's like this like you, you can you're kneeling here like that and touching like that. Right. Like I said, then you stretch the inner the inner part here, all the inner part of the leg. This is something that I would recommend then, for example. So um we wanna do the uh we wanna do get into the side step, but before we do that, first of all sitting like that. Yeah, it's a weird spot. I know it's hard to stretch the side, but like this one should this should work out. This should be this stretching the inner part of the whole leg, like the inner thigh, but also the knee and here. So, I mean, you could be also doing this one, but this is stretching more the back part. So you would have to turn in here a little bit. If you, if you're in that position, you turn in. You should also be feeling a high stretch. So anyway, we're here. And uh, we're kind of leaning forward here, right? Like that. And then we do the other side. You don't have to do a lot here, right? You want to do the side split. I hate the side splits, you know it. I hate training those. I mean, I don't hate the side splits themselves. They're nice once you're there, but training them can be hard. And up. Now. Uh, thanks, Ola. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very, I like being consistent. It's like a drug, you know? Just keep doing this stuff. Um, so, we start in a deep lunge here, right? A deep lunge. Uh, maybe you are 
up, up here you don't get lower down, but maybe you could be further down here. All right, pushing. Feeling a nice stretch in the back of the front leg and the front of the back leg. If you can, bend that back knee, grab the foot and stretch like that. Ah, go. Quick child's pose, so we do the other one. Hola, Mar, que tal? Buenas. Down here. And we do the other side, All right? We do the other side. Uh, the leg goes to the front. And then maybe you're, maybe this is as far as you get, or maybe you're going to get your legs further apart. Wherever you are, it's perfect, right? Don't push yourself too hard. Ah. Up again, and now we're going to try to slide out into the side splits. Um, I'm going to use yoga blocks for that, right? Uh, you don't have to use yoga blocks. One second. You don't have to use yoga blocks. You could be doing without yoga blocks, or instead of yoga blocks, you could be using books or something, right? So. Um, adjust that to your knees with the yoga blocks it's easier to uh, not twist your hips and i'm trying to not twist my hips in the in the um in that split uh, it's hard to talk it's getting hard to talk it's getting late guys right it's about time for me to con uh, to consume more caffeine soon Today is a busy day, right? Today I have to I have to clean the office, I have to clean the bathroom, and I do have a course later on, so I'll be out almost all day later. So, yoga blocks on the mat. We start in a half split here, and then we slide out. Just sliding out. Woohoo! Let's see where we get. You don't have to go super low, right? Especially here on the first sets, I'm always like trying to stay higher up and focus more on the not twisting out part because if I go lower down, I usually uh, tend to twist too much. Can you touch the floor with my hamstring, you mean? Soon, but I have to work my way up there and I don't want to twist my hips too much. So I'm starting with as straight legs as possible, as straight hips as possible. And then bit by bit, um, as we change sides again and again, I'm going to get lower down. But for the first part, I'm not going to go all the way down because I won't want to avoid uh, to twist my hips. But yeah, you can feel free guys, if you want to twist your, twist your hips, but yeah, the correct uh, way would be to try to do that with, with, uh, yeah, square hips. Dancing. Back, quick break. Before we do that again, right? So close. Woo.
Let's go. First side again. I really don't want to do that. I really hate that. Come to the front here on one side, bouncing a little, and then to the back, and down. Wait. Did it? Did it? Ah! Arms back. The mat is coming apart, by the way. Well, it's a really old one. gonna use the timer and we're just gonna hold it for one minute see where that gets us right and I'm gonna do it without the yoga blocks but if you want to use the you keep using the yoga blocks you can for sure timer starts one minute and we go Woo! Ah. Woo! yes thank you now to the front here gonna stay down for one minute now well, I'm in, in different positions here, but close to the floor. Back to the middle. That side is terrible. And I do it. Push through for five, four, three, Two, one, ah, 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 okay, child pose and then we do the other side, but child pose too, oh, let go for a moment. Mm. Other side again, Oof. Okay, you ready? After that, it's just gonna be a piece of cake. After that, we're gonna do a few more relaxing stretches. Come on, why aren't you not turning on? All right, so this is the last hard stretch. Let's go. Oh, one minute. At least, um, um, for me, this is the good side. I mean, me toca el lado bueno. 
hands. To the front. Yeah. Or to the back. I beat mean, I'm to the back from you looking from you guys, but like I mean like come towards your front. And the middle. And we're done. Ah! With the split. Something is itching here. Ah! I don't know what happened there, but it was itchy. So. Almost done. Let's stretch our shoulders once more. I like shoulder stretches a lot. So we come down onto our bellies here. All right, onto our bellies. Um, goes out. Yeah. <laughs> then that leg. It's the mat. Yeah, this could be it. This could be it because it's already old and <laughs> so. And then. You turn over as far as you can. Maybe this is your max, or maybe you can get the foot to the ground. Feeling a nice stretch in that shoulder. Ah, oh, feels so good for me at least. I know about you. And the other side, I mean, the mat. This mat is coming apart, right? It's really coming apart. Up. Oh. And other side. Oh. <sighs> Back on tour. Bellies here. Hands underneath the shoulders. More or less. Up into the cobra. Looking up, looking good. Rotate the shoulders if you can. But don't rotate the head, right? It's the shoulders. And then the other way around. And then Charles pose. One last time. <sighs> And up, and guys, stretch your leg again if it's itchy. And then that was it, guys. Right, that was it for today. Um, I see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you so much for working out with me, for all your support, for the new member, for the sub, for everything, right? For everything. Thank you. Thank you. Kisses for everyone. And um, yeah. Ah, so itchy. <laughs> yeah, maybe I got bitten by a spider, right? Am I going to be Spider-Man now? That would be really nice, right? That would be so cool. So cool. But well, right? We can dream. We can keep dreaming. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh...